did you pull up, mate, after your first game back? Yeah, feel really good. Um, it's always good after a derby win. How were you the week before? Can you talk us through what your life was like for the United States? Yeah, the symptoms lasted a bit longer than what we would have liked. Um, probably took me to Wednesday, Thursday before the headaches really started to um, fade. Um, and then it probably took me a little bit longer then again to get up to some running and getting out there and doing some skills. So um, the docs were pretty good. They were giving me every opportunity to play, um, gave me right up to game day. Um, but yeah, like saying, the symptoms probably hung around a little bit too long to, to get out there. Did you had no, that was the very that was the first time um, f with that degree. Um, you get you know, little ones that don't phase you. So um, yeah, it's the first time I've experienced it, and it's um, obviously something that um, you realise it's pretty serious. You didn't show any hesitancy yesterday, so you know, from a confidence point of view, didn't seem to affect you at all. Yeah, I think that was the benefit um, of not playing the week before. I was able to get rid of any symptoms and um, really recover. And um, I think they made the right decision not let me play last week. In terms of testing, what did you have to go through, to, especially in that first week, obviously you didn't get through the testing, but what did you have to do? Yeah, the first week is all about just making sure that you are symptom free and um, you just get that general wellbeing back. Um, and then the second week I had the COG state test and um, that was all, all good, so we're able to go on from there. What, what do you do in that? I mean, is it more than just two plus two and four plus four? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a card game basically. It's a um, um, recall um, and just picking up reaction time. So um, it's just a test. They have a baseline on, and you've just got to get as close to that as you can. I think it was probably better. <laughs> <laughs> you feel pressure to get yourself up to the game within yourself. What don't like missing games. You said you were given to death, now, did you feel like you were doing everything to add more and try and get yourself up? Yeah. It's not a hamstring and stuff. Yeah, it's a weird one. <clears throat> with your soft tissue injuries, you feel like you can push the boundaries a little bit more. But um, with concussion, I think um, you actually are a bit more hesitant because it's your general wellbeing and um, you just don't quite feel right. And um, I, yeah, I couldn't get right and um, I wasn't going to push it. Um, the docs certainly weren't going to let you do that. Um, but the, the best decision was made and um, I was able to feel good on the weekend. Would you ever yeah. consider wearing a helmet at all? Oh, I thought the afro might have helped, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it did nothing. Can we ask probably a generic question to all midfielders? You've been around this club for quite some time. This midfield, um, how impressive is it? I think it's got a really good mix um, and the depth is building each year we go on. Um, so we've got some really good guys on the outside now who, who can run and carry and have got really good skills that deliver well to our forwards. Um, and then you've got the guys on the inside too. So there's a really good blend in there, um, some youth and, ex and experience, and um, hopefully can carry the, forward, no, the club forward. Did you notice much in Fremantle's game yesterday and, 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 and a big change midfield-wise? Because Ross Island was very critical of their midfield. Um, they've obviously got some great players in there. Um, we knew that if we played four quarters of, of tough, hard footy, then um, we could break them at some stage. And it, it just showed that that third quarter, we were able to maintain the intensity and the work rate, and um, we got the, the scores on the board. Do they, they lack pace? Um, I don't think so. I think they've got some real pace, genuine pace in their midfield. Um, I think with just the amount of numbers around the ball, um, that can sometimes uh, emphasise that. You mentioned the intensity was there. Were you surprised by maybe the physicality that probably wasn't to the level that most people expected it? What about yourself? Did you expect the physicality to be greater than it was? I think, um, you know, it's new coach. Um, and, you know, we know that our focus has just got to be on, on the footy and going hard at the footy. And um, with the press nowadays, the amount of numbers around the ball, um, that, that's got to be a focus. Yeah, we don't take notice of being premiership favourites or anything like that, but being part of that process where we've rebuilt and we're playing some really strong footy at the moment, we've still got so much improvement left in us, and that's probably the most exciting thing. Um, so we'll just you know, keep sticking to the basics and um, playing for each other. That, that's the most enjoyable thing. What's the thing you most need to improve on? Is it saying you pretty good yesterday? Oh, it's just our general 
game plan. You're always looking for ways to improve. Um, and then within that, each individual can make you know massive improvements for the remainder of the year. Since there was such an open season, you know, there's been that first group favourites already this season, that yeah. this could be one, you know, all things game equal in a bit of luck, but this could be a very big year for the club. Could yeah. it been such an open year? Yeah, it's definitely very open. Um, you know, but it's so, so long to go in the season. Um, we've got to make sure that we're doing everything right now to make sure that come the end of the season we're fresh, we're strong and we're fit. Um, and you give yourself an opportunity to play a couple of home finals, that would be great. So um, that's our aim. How strong was the belief this year compared to last year when you were pushing up and going well, but weren't necessarily having the experience of winning? Yeah, we've, there is a lot of belief within the playing group that you know we can we can win games of footy home and away. Um, we want to get that consistency in our game, and um, we really enjoy playing for each other, and that's something Wush has really instilled in the group.